Let's hop on this ride. This week, the name on the marquee has got to be Mackenzie Dern, who this past weekend at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas, Nevada, in the main event of this UFC fight night, defeated Angela Overkill Hill by unanimous decision. In five rounds, the scorecards read 49-43, 49-44, and 49-44. Mark, let me send it over to you first. Get us started here. Give us your take, your reaction of Mackenzie Dern looking as aggressive as she ever has, looking as good as she ever has. Yeah, I will follow on both of those things. She looked awesome. And as far as the aggression, I know I predicted last week that we were going to see an aggressive Mackenzie Dern. But holy hell, even I didn't think it would be quite like that. I mean, she came out swinging from jump. She had cracked Hill within like a minute and a half. Before two minutes was up, she'd knocked her down. I mean, it, it was a whole different Mackenzie Dern. And we have seen her her comfort in her hands growing fight by fight. We've seen these signs of the striking becoming a weapon at times for her. And this is the one where it kind of all came together, where, where we got to kind of see the fruits of the labor and the signs that we've been seeing peeking out. It came together in this one. And maybe the biggest takeaway for me personally is that if you remember after the last fight to Jian on Yan, which was a close fight where she had some rounds and maybe let certain positions slip away, I had said that I thought a huge wrinkle in Mackenzie's game that she could add that would change things for her would be to add some heavy ground and pound. Her ground and pound has always kind of been a, a little bit like faint. I don't know how to describe it. it. It hasn't had the impact you would think she could generate, especially because she always kind of throws fairly hard on the feet, even though her striking was not so refined. And that is what we saw now in this fight. I mean, of course, she was still sub hunting and she was phenomenal in the transitions and the control and everything you expect from her. But there was heavy ground and pound now. There was big elbows coming down, thudding damage accumulating on Angela Hill's face. And that was a new wrinkle for Mackenzie. And it's something that I'm sure will open up submissions for her more going forward. She couldn't find one here. I mean, props to Angie. She did scrap the whole way. She was in some miserable positions at times where she absolutely could have chosen to quit if she was a lesser woman than she is, but she never did. She defended really well all fight, which also shows you the improvements in, in her game as her career has gone on because she was not that level of grappler initially. Um, but this night was all Mackenzie Dern. The scorecards told the story. It was completely dominant. And even though she didn't find the finish, she still walks away with what I would say was a pretty big statement. Omar, bringing you in here, what would you say was the story of the fight of this clash of styles between uh, primarily Muay Thai attack of Angela Hill versus the jiu-jitsu prowess of Mackenzie Dern? I think the, the biggest takeaway for me was the hands. Um, I mean, when we talked about this fight, I don't know if anybody, I don't know anybody, who was talking about Mackenzie Dern potentially outstriking Angela Hill. And a lot of that was going on on the feet, especially earlier on in that fight. I mean, her hands were straight. They were precise. And the thing that I love about that you can see that's super visible in Mackenzie Dern now, as opposed to in her previous fights when, when she wasn't comfortable, is her eyes. And she doesn't look away when she strikes, right? She doesn't close her eyes anymore. She doesn't look away. She's not fucking throwing with, with reckless abandon, hoping that she hits something with her hands. Um, she's very purposeful with her strikes now. And she, you know, she's still got a little work to do. She's not 100% crisp. But the improvements, I think, are, are, are exceptionally vast. And they're effective, which I think is the most important part. Um, you do got to give props to Angela Hill, though, man, because she survived a lot of really disgusting uh, submission attempts, especially once Mackenzie Dern was on top. She had a couple arm bars that were one tweak away from getting pulled all the way to extension. Um, and Mackenzie and, and Hill was just holding on for dear life. And I think that was a lot of the story in certain parts of that fight. Um, I gave her I think I gave Mackenzie Dern at least two 10, eight rounds in that fight. Um, it was. It showed the resiliency of Angela Hill, but it showed the dominance at the same time of Mackenzie Dern. And, and as much as they're both dogs, man, Mackenzie Dern is just on a different level. And I think that was kind of what we talked about last week. Yeah, man. There were some moments of that fight. I think early in the third or fourth round, Mackenzie Dern just came out like a bat out of hell, got a takedown, and did some kind of magic with <laughs> our, with 
Angela Hill's arms and like wound up hunting for a triangle before you even blinked. And it was like, oh, damn, that's what she can do. That's how good she is. And the better she gets at striking, the more and more she's going to be such a problem. Because like, who's going to, we going to take her down? Was Angela Hill going to like change it up and change levels and like try to, no. I mean, she, she kind of did. She kind of had to. She didn't really have an answer on the feet. And even then she got chewed up on the ground, you know, but she did yeah. turn into a bit of a wrestler in, in that fight. She turned into a clincher, I feel. It was like the only spot where she was sort of sh- safe. She was yeah. just trying to be clinchy, but then that let Dern kind of work trips and little off-balance spots and things like that. Yeah. But, hey, it was uh, definitely a testament to Angela Hill's will in this fight as well. Oh, she, yeah. she toughed it out. She took, she took quite a bit of damage in this fight. Uh, tough as nails, she showed. Absolutely. But it was just uh, – a, a, this was a showcase for – for uh, Mackenzie Dern. She came out. Uh, I took her. I believed her in the uh, the lead up to this fight for this, this, the media from this past week of saying that she's been going through quite a bit personally, going through a divorce that apparently hasn't been fun. And uh, something about, she's mentioned something. I saw her on El Helwani talking about the courts or defending her, defending herself in the legal system. Something about probably, Probably going with, through some legal stuff, maybe with the kid or maybe with money or something like that, or with an estate. Well, it's yeah, we were going to touch on it in the sphere, but just to give okay. you a little preview, it has it has to do with a little bit with money. Um, it got really, she said, it got really dirty once the money got involved, and there have been restraining orders involved in, in their relationship. There was apparently some domestic violence disputes and things like that. Oh. So there's there's apparently a history as to why that divorce happened in the first place, and then things have gotten. Damn. Have still been pretty confrontational afterwards too. They both seem so happy and like smiley. Yeah, he was always like there supporting her. It was yeah. No, I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, said. unfortunately, I mean, I a lot of those never, you never know, man. Yeah, a lot of the ones that tend to smile too too much in public tend to be the ones that you got to worry about. I feel like. But he's not a fighter. He was like a surfer. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. What if yeah. he was like? What if he was like? Yo, she beat the shit out of me every night. <laughs> Like, I think he actually did say something me. about how he how he used to get um, that he's been abused by her too or something like that, and she was like, "I wow. I defended myself." That's <laughs> ugly. Like, oh, That's right. ugly, man. That sucks. It does suck. But anyway, bringing it back to to the fight, uh, I uh, I bought into that narrative that she was putting out there. I, I was like, I think she's going to bring in a chip on her shoulder for this fight. She's going to take out that aggression in the cage, and that's exactly what she did, guys. So that her being moniker said, has been uh, for this fight. Her moniker was Divorce Dern. Divorce Dern. Oh my God! We, we've had Dad Cerrone. <laughs> now we have Divorce Dern. C oh level Kane. C level Kane. She's the favorites. new legend. She's the yep. new legend. Yeah. She's the mythical, Dern. mythical the creature mythical unlocked. Fighter. Well, let's talk about where Divorce Dern goes next in her <laughs> professional fighting career. Because this was a big win, a big statement win, I should say, by Mackenzie Dern. Uh, Mark, if you were the matchmaker of the UFC, what would you do with Mackenzie Dern next? Who would you match her up with next? I actually am with her call out of Rose Namunis. Um It feels like it is maybe a bit much, but to me... This division is just so tough to book because all these top girls have mostly fought each other. Every one has a win over one and a loss to the other, and it's like all interchangeable for the most part. So as much as it's a jump for Mackenzie to fight Rose, she, Mackenzie is a star. She did look fantastic com- coming off that performance, and Rose hasn't fought in a minute. She needs to come back against someone, so I say why not? I say, let's do that fight. I love that, man, because to your point, she is a star. Mackenzie Dern is, is a, one of the brightest stars in the sport, and especially on the women's side. And this is a big enough win over an established veteran in Angela Hill and a, a, enough of a, of a statement performance to be like, okay, let's, let's do this. Let's match her up with a true marquee name in this division to get her into that upper echelon so that we can really start selling her more. Omar, what do you think? So I'm going to go a little, I'll be a little bullish on this. Um, Carlos Barza is going to be out for a minute, right? She's pregnant. She's she's kind of done, at least for the time being. Um, 
Rose Namajunas hasn't fought. We don't. I, I don't really know what her deal is as to why she hasn't fought. I know she's been kind of doing her... There was a movie at some point, and she's been doing some other ventures and things like that. So I don't really know where she stands. So Mark picked her. I know Mackenzie Dern picked her. I, I'll, I'll exclude her from my process just because we've already had a pick for her. Um, I think that Wei Li and, and Lemosh is going to be an interesting fight. But... I kind of want Mackenzie Dern at this point to fight the loser of Wei Li Lemos. I think that would be an interesting test to see where Mackenzie Dern is. Um, I think Yan Xiaonan at this point has probably earned herself a title shot. So I still want to see Wei Li and Yan Xiaonan. I hope that that's the fight that ends up happening. And I hope that Mackenzie Dern ends up fighting uh, Lemos. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Any names you guys have for way though that puts Mackenzie out for a bit. I mean, she sounds like she's got some shit to deal with as it is. Yeah. It's yeah. Fair. What about Angela Hill? What do you guys think about what's, what's next for Angie overkill Hill? I'll say Marina Rodriguez for Angela Hill. Um, a great fight. It's again, it, it feels like it's like almost a little bit of a reward. I think Marina and Mackenzie are ranked like right next to each other. Um, but again, Angela Hill has fought like everyone, and that's someone she hasn't fought. Marina has lost two in a row herself, so it's not like she's on the way up or anything. So I actually think that's a fun matchup that makes sense. Great matchup. Both are going to stand up and strike. Omar, what do you think? Who's this girl fighting? Um, man. I feel like so I I, I kind of want to see Angela Hill versus Tatiana Suarez, right? But Tatiana is already bu- booked up against um, Virna. John Genova. Suarez, yeah. I think really. Uh, so I think it might be interesting to see her fight potentially the loser of that fight, and uh, yeah, because Mark makes a good point. It's like Angela Hill is still kind of in, still in the top fifteen, has fought a lot of these girls, and a lot of these girls she's fought relatively recently. Um, yeah, she just like, lost I don't really Vierna one fight ago. Yeah, and I don't necessarily care to see her against you know Michelle Waterson again. I think no. Tisha is going to be out obviously for a minute. She's also pregnant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They they fought before as well, which I think was a close one at that. So one fight. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird spot for Angela, but I know Angela will probably take a fight. You know, she's kind of like the Neil Magny of that division. Okay. All right. Well, with that being said, let's move right along down this UFC Fight Night card. Congrats to Mackenzie Dern for the probably biggest statement win of her career over the very tough veteran in Angela Hill. Thanks. 